In practice it, self-check 16.12, we need to write the code necessary to convert the following sequence of list node objects, which is list, into these new sequence of list node objects, which is list and list2. First, we need to make a new list2, since we don't originally have it. And we are going to set it equal to list. What this is doing is it's getting the first value. List.next would be 2, and list.next.next .next is 3. And then list.next.next.next .next would be null. So currently, our list node 2 has the value 1 in it. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to make our list just have the value 2, 3, and null. So we're basically going to get rid of this one. To do that, we're going to say list is equal to list.next. We're replacing list, which is 1, with list.next, which is 2. So now we're going to have list be 2, 3, and null. Our list 2 is just 1, but we need it to be 3. So what we can do is we can get this value right here and put it into our list 2. To do this, we will have list 2 is dot next is equal to list dot and then we look at which value this is which is just list dot next and then after we do this we are gonna have our list to be one and then three and then null because it automatically initiates the last value to null so this would be null as well actually and lastly, we need to make our list just be 2 and then null. Our list 2 is in its correct order, 1, 3, and null. So now for our list, we need to do list.next. So this value right here, this 3, is going to be replaced with null. And we're setting that equal to list.next.next. .next. That gets us a null. But the better way to do it would just be to set it equal to null. But that just kind of proves if we have it like this, it just kind of proves that the null stays there and is present there until we change it. And since our null is down here, now we're going to have list1 or list just be 2 and null. And that will be our answer.